Hey everyone, welcome back to the JavaScript course. So in this video, we'll be exploring about variables inside of JavaScript. And if you find this interesting, let's get started right away. So let's start exploring about variables inside of JavaScript. So inside my VS Code, I've created my index.html file, style.css file, as well as my script.js. And we have some boilerplate code inside the index.html file, as you can see. And I've linked the, the style.css as well as the script.js file at the bottom. We have a simple h2 tag with the class of text. And inside the style.css file, we have some random and basic styling. And inside the script uh, so the script file, we have a basic console.log message, okay? And I've run this uh, app inside the in the in the live server. So as you can see, we have the hello message coming. Okay, so this is from the script file. So everything is working fine. So now let's continue uh, about the variables. So the first variable which we have is the var variable. So the var variable existed in JavaScript when JavaScript was pretty much invented at the first. So var variable has something called as the global scope or a function scope. So global scope in the sense that particular variable is accessible anywhere inside the JavaScript file, right? So next one is something called as a function scope, as I told. So function scope in the sense, uh, just in case we have a block of uh, code that is inside a function. So all the, all the var variables are accessible inside that particular scope that is called as a function scope. So now let's understand this with the help of a better example. So first let's remove the console.log. Let's initialize a var variable. Let's keep it 10. So let's say I just console.log a, right? So of course we should get 10 because it is in a global, right? So save the file, come back over here. Yeah, so as you can see, we are getting that number 10. So that is it about the global scope. So let's try to access it inside a function, let's say, right? So let's write console.log of a and var a equals to, let's say seven, save the file. Yeah, so as you can see, we are able to get that value seven, right? So now let's do one more thing that is, let's access, I mean, let's initialize the value inside the function scope and let's try to access it outside that is in the global level, right? So let's see what we should get the output, right? Yeah, so again, still we're getting seven because wire has something called as global scope. So that's the reason we are still getting seven. So now the second one is latent cons. So uh, latent cons were pretty, uh, pretty much introduced in the ESX version of JavaScript. So let and const have something called as block scope. That is, it is only available. I mean, it is only accessible in that particular block of level. So let's try that with an example, right? So suppose we have a block. Let us initialize a let variable. So let a equals to, let's say 10. Yeah, let's try and log the value, right, a. So we should get 10 because it's it's in, in the block scope. Yeah, so as you can see, we are getting 10. So now let's say if I just put the console.log message outside this block, you're gonna get a error, right? Let's check out the console. Yeah, so as you can see, we are getting a reference error which says a is not undefined because a is only defined inside this particular scope that is inside the braces, right? So that was it about the let variable. So now let's see the const variable, right? So, and let variable is accessible in the global level. So let a equals to 10 and let's write console.log of 10, I mean console.log of a. We should be getting that value because we do not have any kind of block scope over here. So now let's try and do it for the uh, const variable. So let's say const a equals to 10 and just uh, this is inside that particular block. So let's write console.log of a and save the file. So pretty much you should get the value of 10. Yeah, so as you can see, we are getting 10 in the console. So that was easy because it is there inside the block and we are trying to access that particular value. That is the value of a inside the block. So that's the reason we're getting 10, right? So let's copy the console message and put it outside the block. Okay, so we should get again a reference error because we are making use of a const variable and const variable has something called as block scope. Okay, so let us make this var and we should see the value of 10. So save the file. Yeah, so we are getting 10. And yeah, that was it about the introduction of variables. So now we can deep dive into one more feature that is the const variables cannot be redeclared and reassigned similarly to the, to the let variables. 
but we can have that for var so firstly we are going to do with var so var uh, variables can be uh, re uh, assigned as well as redeclared so let's say var a equals to let's give a message which says hello world and let's console dot log a pretty much we are going to get the value of hello world okay so in the console just to check yeah hello world is coming so next let us try to reassign the value to variable a so var a equals to let's say hello javascript so now what should be the output it should it be a or the second one it's going to take the second one because it can be reassigned we have reassigned the value so there you go we are we are getting the message which says hello javascript so let's try the same thing with let and const and let's see what's going to happen so let's write let a equals to hello world and again let's a equals to hello javascript so as you can see even before we just console.log the value we are getting that error javascript yeah so if you just hover over here you can see cannot redeclare a block scope variable a so even if you just log the variable we're gonna get an error in the console that is the value cannot be redeclared right so as you can see uncaught uh, syntax error identifier a, a has been already declared okay but if you do the same thing with var it's going to work so the same thing is going to happen with the const variable so let's say const a equals to hello world so just as you write const a it's going to give you an error let's give a random word yeah so if you hover over the variable yeah you can see cannot redeclare blocks code variable a so that was it about the const variable so let's try to access the variable the var variable even before declaration right so let's write console.log of a so you're gonna get error that is a is not defined yet okay a is not defined so now let's just define a value so var a equals to 10 so now let's see what should be the output it should be undefined right so yeah so this is because of something called as hoisting we'll be looking at and in the coming videos so we can uh, yeah, uh, access a, a, a var variable even before we uh, initialize it over here like this. So now if I console.log of a, you should pretty much get the correct value, right? Because we are firstly assigning it and then we are console.logging it. So let's try that out. Yeah, now we should get the value of 10. Yeah, so there you go. Firstly, we get undefined and then we get 10. But the same thing if you do with any other variable, I mean any other, yeah, uh, like console let, you're going to get an error. So let's say b for now let's try to write let b equals to 10 so now let's see what is going to be the output right yeah so we can see, uh, get the message that is cannot uh, access b before initialization so that is it about the let variable over here now let's check out the same thing for const so let's write console.log of b again and let us initialize it after we have called the variable so let's write const b equals to some value so again you're going to get the same message that is a reference error cannot access b before initialization right so let's try to access it after we have initialized pretty much it should work right again we're getting the error because the first console log or log, dot log is of course giving that let's remove that and yeah we should be able to see the value yeah so there you go so that was it about all the different kinds of variables and uh, about the scopes of different kinds of variables that is about the var let and const and yeah that's it for this video let's see you in the next video and then thank you for watching